Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be pruning up my larch forest and my royal oaks. I'm going to start by pruning up my larch forest. It's been three weeks since I last pruned it and there's some areas that are really growing with a lot of vigor. All the vigor in a larch tree tends to go to the apex. So the shoots at the apex are growing with a lot of vigor. You can see they need pinching back. If we go down the tree, some of the lower branches, the shoots are just starting to come out. You can see the little green bundles of needles. So I'm going to equalize the vigor today by pinching back and thinning out the apex and just leaving the lower branches to grow. I'm going to be working on the landscape too. I want to replace some of these older rocks with the newly collected rocks that I have. The newer rocks are a more consistent texture and color. I'm going to start in the apex of the main tree here. I do have some back budding. So I'm going to do a little thinning in this area too, keeping the shoots I want and pruning away the others. So there's one I just removed entirely, making use of those new back buds. Pruning back the long vigorous ones here. You can pinch or prune these. I'm pruning them because I'm going between the needles. Here's that first branch I pruned back and it's still kind of full. I should reduce some of the shoots on it. I'm just trying to decide which ones. I think I want to keep the more upright ones so I'm going to get rid of this side branch there and get rid of this side branch. hard pruning away this these branches but you've got to keep your apex simple or it thickens up too much and becomes bulbous so that branch is pruned up really nicely now I was working on this one that you can see out front here now so again I've got to decide what shoots I want to keep there's a nice kind of vertical one back there so I think I'm going to get rid of this one like that I'm trying to short, keep these branches short, so I could actually prune this whole lower section off, and I will. Here I go, like that. Fairly hard, you know, hard pruning there. Just cleaning that area up a bit now, like that. So that's really simplified this area. I'm going to take this back just a little bit more. Now come around this side and see what's going on. I see there's an insect web in here of some sort. So now, again, I have a hanging branch here. I, I want to keep my more upright in the apex. So I'll take this hanging one off. There. And I've got a very vigorous one here. I can prune back. So I'm just trying to simplify this area. I think I can take this branch off here that's coming out the front, like that. And then I'll just clean up these cuts, like that. So that really simplifies that branch and gets it reduced back. There's always difficult choices to make about what you're keeping and what you're not. So again here I have kind of a horizontal branch and I want to keep my branches in the apex rising upwards so I'm going to take that whole, whole branch off like that. Prune this one back like that, this one back. Always looking to see how I can simplify the structure in the apex. I think I'll take off. I've got I'm trying to divide one branch into two. I've got three here, so I'm going to remove this bottom one completely. Like that. Reduce this back. Take this one back. 
So that's got this part of the branch pruned up really nicely. It's, um, I'll take this one off here. It's a little thick in that area. There. So that's looking good, that branch now. There's one behind here that I've got to get to. I'll prune it back for starters. Taking some of these tips off. There's one going straight up here. I don't think I want that one, but... So I may have to prune some of these back later on or take them right off. One more here. So now I've got to look at this area behind this other branch and see what I can simplify. There's one on the inside between these two branches. I can take that one off like that just to clean it out. It's already looking better. There's a few needles I can pinch off here, some older ones. You know, which aren't that old, but... <laughs> so that, that's really looking good in this area now. I think I'm going to take this vertical one back just a bit more. Like that. Now, let's go up top and finish off the apex. I haven't watered my trees in four or five days, I think. It just keeps raining every day. I was looking at the front of this tree and I could clean it up quite a bit. I've got kind of a crossing branch here that I'm going to take out. So really simplify that branch a lot, like that. And then, I'm wondering if I could take out this middle one. Just keep the branches each side. This could be the new branch leader, so I think I will. Here I go. Like that. So I have a new branch leader here. This one can be pruned back a bit. I'll just pinch this one. There. Yeah, so I think that looks really good. It's really simplified that branch. So let, let me keep working away here. Now, I could, I have this back branch here that kind of goes straight up and this apex, if I kept this as the apex, it's lower. So the problem with this branch is getting high. So I'm going to take the top off of it and keep my sideways branches. So here I go, taking the whole top off that branch. So that really cleaned that up. I can shorten this one. I've got three coming from one spot here. I'll take out the inside one. Cleaning that apex up. Really cleaning it up too. So I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks really good. There's a tall one here, I gotta prune back. Okay, let me show you a view of that apex. So here's a look at the apex. You can see it from this angle. I took that top branch off of right here. Maybe you can see it from here. Yeah, so I'm really happy with that. It's short, compact, and simplified. People have been asking me about this branch, the one that comes out, goes straight up. So my goal is to eventually get back budding somewhere on this section of the branch. And I've got a back bud way back here, which is good. So I may be able to do some reduction on this branch today. So I'll tackle that one next. All right, let's check out this branch. So I want to remove anything vertical. I want to keep it as low as possible so it doesn't kind of rock it up. Now it could be a cathedral branch, but uh, I don't think I'll grow one on this tree at the present moment. I'm going to keep it more a conventional branch if I can. So I can prune off this whole top bit here. So here I go, like that, taking the vertical top off of it. There's a upright bit on this branch that I can remove the entire thing. Maybe, you know, I'll just take the upright part off for now. 
I've got a bud that's lower here. If I take the whole thing off, maybe there wouldn't be enough sap flow to this bud and it might die back. So I'm going to keep this on for now and it'll get pruned off later. Bring this one back. Now this one, I've got three growing out. I'll get rid of my upper one here. Just to keep this branch looking as short as possible so it doesn't grow up and tall. Here's a close up of that branch now from the front. So you can see, you know, gone is the vertical part. It still looks kind of 90 degree ish, very angular, out straight, straight up, horizontal. But I'm working with what I. I, what I've got, I'm working with nature, and that's all I can do at the present moment with that branch. All right, I'll keep working down the tree, removing any of these really long shoots, kind of balancing the vigor on the tree, and bringing it back if I can. I've got some back budding happening, so I'm reducing some branches where I can. All right, that branch is looking good. Do this back one. Shortening if I can. Nice when you can actually shorten branches. It's a good feeling. Okay, that's looking pretty good, that one. I'll work on this branch next. So it's kind of thick towards the tip of this branch. So let me get rid of this really long shoot or just prune it back first. And I got to see what I'm doing here. So, yeah, the problem with this branch is it's getting quite thick and heavy. So I got to knock back the vigor in it and pick my thinnest branches. So this branch is kind of going towards the back here. So I'm going to take it off. There, taking that tip off. A little needle plucking here so I can see what's going on. It's getting very dense in this area. So I've got, there's a branch on top and a branch underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take that whole thick top off. Let me try and get you a good camera view of that. Okay, I hope you can see up here. Uh, there's a thick one in here I'm going to take off. So here I go. It's a very, very thick branch. Here I go. Like that. So there it is. There's how thick it was. Just cleaning that cut up now. So it'll blend in better. And I'm going to clean up this branch a bit. Prune it back, make it more compact like that and I've got to take the shoot off here like that now I've got this upper part here let me just clean up this pruning stub there take this branch back there's a pruning stub in here I can clean up so I'm still working on this branch I don't really want to take this upper part off Although, I probably should. Let me look from the front again. I think it needs something coming forward in this area. So, I will take this upright shoot off here. Another one here I can remove. Another upright one here I can remove. Just knocking that vigor back a bit on this branch. I think that'll do for that branch for now. It's compact. I've shortened it a lot. I've taken a lot of vigor out of it. All right, I'm going down the tree, just pruning off some of these large elongated shoots. Again, balancing the vigor. You don't want, you know, one shoot taking off and really thickening up. You want to grow out the tree fairly evenly. So once I've finished pruning off all these shoots that have elongated more than the others, I'm going to look at the overall profile of the tree and try and bring it in tighter. That was my goal. It was starting to get too wide. 
I think I've got all the elongated shoots pruned on the main tree now. Taking advantage of my back buds on this main tree, I'm going to try and prune the conical form even tighter so I get a tighter triangle. All right, here I go. So this branch, if I can bring this back, which I can, I can take it all the way back to here, taking the tip off. This one can be taken off. That's brought it in quite a bit. I'm going to take the whole top off this branch. It's shading out the lower part. So here I go. Like that. Take that out. There's a look at the conical shape on this side of the tree. So it's really, I've really tightened it up on this side. This side's still a little long, so I need to bring that in more too. I've got the main tree pruned up. As tight as I can get that conical form. I may get more back buds in there in the future and I can bring it back even tighter. I'm going to do the same for all the other trees, getting the apex in order, trying to get that tight conical form to them. They're on a little branch on the inside. I'm going to take that right out. Cleans that up. I need a tighter conical shape on this back tree here. So I'm going to take out this middle section here, which is a pretty big cut. So here I go. Is, is that the one I want? No, this one right here, this whole top. Here I go. Taking that off. That's a pretty big cut. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to have a large shoot. Here I go. Not too bad. Bit of a sweet taste to it. Ooh, quite quite sweet actually. Now that's 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 pretty tasty. So I'm just going to continue pruning away all these trees, getting that nice conical form to them. I've got the large forest all pruned up. It took quite a long time. There was more branches to prune than I expected. But I think it's looking really good. My apexes are nice and tight. I've got a nice kind of triangular conical form to the trees. All the branches look balanced now from top to bottom on the tree. Pretty well. It's still a little more vigorous on top, but not too bad. So next I'm going to work on the landscape. It should be fun working on the landscape. My moss bushes back there are doing really well. They look nice and green and yeah, I've got a few more that I'm forming on the other side of the forest. So I'll continue to prune those up. So the first thing I'm going to replace, I've always had this kind of set of stairs here and I've never really liked them that much. They look too artificial. They look like stone stairs that were man-made. So I've got to replace those with something that looks still kind of like a natural stairway but less man-made. So something that looks more natural. So that's where I'll start. All right, I'll take the stairs out. Kind of sad taking them out. They've been there a long time but I always have them if I ever want to change it back. Okay, so that's kind of taken those out. So now I need to find something to go in that spot that kind of maybe looks like a pathway going up there. I'm liking this rock. It doesn't really look like steps, but I like the way it sticks out. It's kind of like I would imagine myself sitting on that rock. And I think, and it looks natural. It's kind of a nice, nice rock. So I want this section over here to be sort of like a ravine with a you know, a dry waterfall in it coming out to a sort of a spillway out front and this side, you know, maybe a little more rocky. I'll get that rock planted. I'll have to put some moss around it to kind of firmly plant it in place, but that's, it sits pretty good there. It's nice and firm in the landscape and it's a nice rock. Next, I want to, I've got some rocks kind of here I'll replace those with the new rocks so they all match. So they all look like they're from the same area, not 
rocks of all different colors and textures and shapes. Yeah, so I've got some rocks here, and I think I want to keep that kind of theme where the rocks are kind of horizontal outcrops of rocks, so it makes kind of like a cliff face there. So it might, it's going to take me a long time to do all these rocks, to find, you know, the rock that looks the best in each position. So I'll just have to keep working away, otherwise I think this video will take hours and hours and hours because there's a lot of decision making and a lot of trial and error. So I'll just work away at the landscape. This is a really nice rock. But I've got to have them all this type of rock so they all match. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I like that. I found a nice rock to go in beside this one, just a smaller one. A lot smaller than the one I took out, but I think it looks good. You can see this overflow area where it comes down the waterfall and into the, you know, the river section of the forest. So yeah, I think it's looking, you know, quite realistic and quite miniature so far. So I'll keep working away. I've got my shoreline roughed in here. I tried a lot of different rocks, a lot of different sizes. And I think the smaller, shallow kind of shaped rocks look the best. Kind of look like a rocky shore. And it, it tapered into the edge of the pot nicely. If I got too big a rock in here, it kind of doesn't flow. The landscape didn't flow enough. It looked unnatural. So I think that looks good. I, I'll have to plant some moss in that around them. But that's got that section pretty well roughed in. I'm happy with everything through here. Now, the next thing I want to work on is on this edge. I've got a stone here, kind of a cliff face here that I'm going to improve. When I went rock collecting with Red and Connor, I'm so glad I got as many rocks as I could because I knew someday I would need to find that perfect rock to fit in a certain spot. And the more you have, the better you can match it up. And I'm so glad I have all those rocks because I'm trying all kinds of different rocks and some work and some don't and I'm glad I have that many rocks to choose from. All right, I'll take these rocks out of this cliff face. I think there's only one actually. And I'll try and find some dramatic rocks to go along this edge here. Maybe even some of the smaller ones would be better. They're about the right height. Yeah. And as you can see, it's not only, you know, finding the rock, you've got to find the right orientation for the rock. I have another rock up here that I need to replace too. Interesting rock, but again, you know, this is more a limestone rock. It's a nice shape, but it's just, I've got to find rocks that match. I found a nice rock to go between my moss bushes at the back here. And it creates, I've got like the stones here, here, and then one up here. And it creates another level of depth to the planting. I think it looks pretty good. I've got another stone fitted here. Looks kind of good at the edge of the pathway. And again, different steps, all at different heights. I've added another stone to the planting. And that's up here on the top of the hill. So I pruned sort of a clearing there so you can sit down. And there's a rock here. Maybe you can sit on top of the rock. And again, it kind of creates another layer of depth. The rock kind of comes in front of this trunk just a little bit. This one over here comes in front of this trunk. You kind of have to look around it to see the base of the tree. And again, the rock behind this tree, it all creates depth and layers and makes the landscape really interesting, I think. I have finished planting my rocks, replacing the old ones with the new ones, trying some new arrangements out. So here it is. Now when I say I'm finished, I think I'm finished. I think it's looking good. It looks like a really rocky landscape.
really reminds me of being up north. Algonquin Park, kind of that area, northern Ontario. Yeah, so I've got a lot of cleaning up to do still. But I think, you know, it's looking really nice, I think. I think those new rocks really help the landscape. You know, it gives it another level of miniaturization. I never did get to my Royal Oaks pruning them up, so I'll have to work on those tomorrow. I really had fun working on my larch forest today, pruning up the trees, planting my rocks, and improving the landscape. I'm really happy the way it turned out. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>